right behind the fence. That's the plan. Road comes up, road comes across. Right now I'm trying to delay. We had our towns light the lights night. So there's a lot of people right now. So I'm just trying to just find the opportunity time to get out and get over there. Let's go for a walk first. We got the railroad crossing right there. Light up the lights right there. And this is camp right here. I got those mobile homes right there. So I think maybe I'll come set the bivy up kind of behind this snow pile. Nope. Too exposed. Let's go check over there. Nope. Too exposed. So, yep, that corner is the only option. here at the fence right here nobody can see me except for that's a light to that mobile home bathroom light I would guess so I think what we'll do is I'll grab my chair out and a stealth Pepsi and a joint hey it's ball with weed in the bush by the way <laughs> and uh, we'll just sit here and hang out for 15 minutes before we do anything. It's only about uh, 6.30, maybe 6.40ish. So it's pretty early yet. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get a chair, stealth Pepsi, and a joint. And we'll see if any bugs, anybody bugs us back here for a bit. Hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance, weed in the bush. This is a high risk spot high risk I mean let's check that intersection out again yeah and there's light up the lights that's where we were it's a park and then the railroad crossing is right there it's gonna be loud when it comes Hey guys, hopefully you can see me good enough. I'm kind of trying to use the street light as a as a stealth camping light. Uh, the temperature right now is only about minus three degrees Celsius. So it's a pretty nice night. 
Uh, next week's going to be like all minus 20s and 15s and stuff. So thought I'd take this opportunity to do a stealth camp, a high risk stealth camp. Not too sure what we're smoking today. I just grabbed a bag and ground it up. And I think it's some chunky monkey and crack a stealth Pepsi. Definitely a lot of traffic, that's for sure. Busy, busy, busy. Man, I didn't even put filters in the end of these joints. Yeah. I didn't, uh, didn't have much time. The day kind of got away from me and one of the little Carson had a birthday party to go to, so by the time I got back and got everybody dressed and all that stuff to come out here, it was just kind of throw everything in the bag as fast as we possibly could and hope I remember everything. Uh, for supper tonight, we got a MRE. I think it's beef ravioli or something like that. I didn't really realize that street light was going to be so like bright and in here. I kind of thought I was going to be a little bit more in the dark. But we're right out here, man. Right out here. Well, guys, I'm just about done this joint. Uh, again, we don't have any. We don't even have any store-bought joint reviews to do or anything. This is awesome. I mean, again, there's no trespassing signs here. Obviously, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but there was no sign. I didn't have to cross a gate. So, what can they say? Nothing. They can tell me to leave. And even then, no, I'll leave in the morning. We're using the red light today. Stay on the DL, right? So, picked up this MRE, ready to eat meal. Um, it was fairly expensive. It's twenty five dollars. Yikes! Uh, beef ravioli and meat sauce. So beef ravioli and meat sauce, black beans and seasoned sauce, vanilla flavored cake, cocoa beverage powder and orange flavored beverage powder so let's open this up I've never I didn't bring a knife with me so we got a hole hey it's in another wrapper this is the beef ravioli vanilla pound cake and then the orange beverage. And then the hot chocolate. So the spoon, napkins, coffee. And then this is the flameless ration heater. Black beans and the seasoned sauce. Uh, there is zero instruction. So we're gonna start by opening this. Okay, well, it has instructions on this thing, but fuck, it don't make any fucking sense. And then you stick the MRE in, so the heater's on the back side, but you don't let it go all the way to the bottom, because that's where you put your water into. That takes very little water. Oh, you can see it already. Okay, and then you drop it in there. Yeah, got it. Okay, and then, this is the heater, so you lean it up against a rock like this for 15 minutes. So it is 7.45, so we'll see at eight o'clock. Uh, it's been 15 minutes, so let's uh, start with this juice in a bag. Ooh, it smells like tang. Um, I spilt some water, so I'm just gonna dump it out and drink it out of this thing. And I'll just shake that up for a bit. Here it is. Still a little warm. The beans are warm, not hot by any means. Just warm. 
It did let off a fairly nasty smell. You can't smell it on the thing though. Comes with a spoon, fairly heavy duty. A wet knife, wet wipe. Some freeze dried coffee, so instant coffee. Salt and pepper. Two packs of sugar. A thing of actual coffee mate. And then one napkin. That's what it looks like. Doesn't look too good. Not bad. It, uh, Kind of tastes like Chef Boyardee, but almost better. Let's try our orange juice. Oh. Must have a bunch of like electrolytes and stuff in it for hydration and stuff. Ugh. But this isn't bad. There's enough sauce that nothing's dry, but there's not too much sauce that is just sauce, right? There we go. That's empty. Black beans and rice. I don't know about that. Oh, damn, that's good. That's, that's better than the ravioli. It's just black beans and a seasoned sauce. Tastes very chili-like. That's pretty good. I'm gonna eat this. I'm just drinking this juice. The juice isn't good. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna finish eating that beans. And then uh, I think a little later, we'll do that uh, pound cake and the hot chocolate. We'll see how that is. Uh, but before then, let's smoke a joint. Somebody's tooting their horn at something. Well guys, as you've seen, I got the bivy set up, the winter camel put over top of it. So yeah, smoking a joint. Weed in the bush, hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. Yeah, yeah. I do have this Sun Belsa headlamp on, and man, it's just, it's so light. Like I always, for, I, I forget I have it on. So then I'm trying to do shit in the dark and going, oh yeah, I got the light on. So it, uh, like that's low setting and honestly that is perfect 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 and then we got the green setting high green and then there's our red I brought my super tiny little tripod chair and with all the snow I'm just sitting on the snow it's not uh, it's not the most comfortable thing I keep sinking here But temperature is absolutely wonderful. I mean, I'm I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I I'm going to accomplish this one. It's been on the radar for some time now. 
I was hoping to kind of get it done more in the fall when there was still a little bit of leaves on these trees, but whatever. I can't have a fire, can't do anything like that, so it's a good spot to be on a warm, a warm night. I just, I keep sinking. Crack open one more stealth Pepsi. Smoking this joint by the fence here, guys. I'm still always so concerned about the smoke. I can just see it fucking rising over there. Yeah, well, supper was pretty good. I'm I'm quite impressed, actually. I'm not impressed with the price. Um, for me, it doesn't really do any good because I bring the jet boil anyways. So I would rather just have normal food but it was good food and we'll try another one maybe in a couple months maybe in the summertime when it's nice and warm <laughs> but yeah we will uh we'll see you we'll see you in a little bit when you can see me again it's dark right here behind me is like a rail service yard we we've seen the other side of it before I'm sitting right on the railroad track. I figure we'll smoke a pre-bedtime joint joint it's definitely colder out here the wind is the wind is cold I don't know kind of figure if I just hunker down here low on the railroad tracks red light on the railroad tracks could be anything so yeah we'll just quickly smoke this joint here and Go back to the bivy. I got my sleeping bag all set up in there. So I'll probably just make a hot chocolate and smoke another joint and go to bed. Not much to do. Can't really move around too much. Hopefully everybody's just paying attention to the road and not looking down the tracks. Cause yeah, we got a road over there. So yeah, that's a, that's a road. Yeah, guys, we're just put down this joint. I miss my filters. Uh, I guess do me a favor. Go we'll follow Kathy Loves Camping. She's new. She's getting into the stealth camping scene. Yeah. Well done, Kathy. Proud of you. Yeah, link will be in the description to her channel. Go check her out. Tell her Weed in the Bush sent you. She'll appreciate that. Weed in the Bush, not a train. It's rolling through town nice and slow. Yeah, well, 
too bad that didn't happen while we were on the track smoking a joint away from the intersection and all the cars and the people. So that's all right. I did uh, I did get a hot chocolate made. Um, but I'm out of propane. So there won't be coffee made here. I haven't quite figured out what we'll do. Probably just walk back to the house, make coffee there. I do know I'm going to bug out fairly early in the morning. It will be completely black as it is now, right? Weed in the bush. Hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance. Subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, we got the Munch Fund too. Buy me some joints. Uh, buy me a propane bottle now, right? <laughs> and uh, buy me a coffee. Of course, I changed it to buy me a joint. I mean, makes sense, right? And yeah, don't forget about the members. Uh, you can get your name on the safety sheet for $1.99. I'll get you once a month shout outs. And uh, for $3.99, you get uh, extra videos, once a month shout outs and hopefully uh, once a month live streams here soon, maybe. I suck. I'm just uh, sick and busy and just sick, right? Alright uh, guys, well, this train's taking forever, so I'm going to grab my hot chocolate. We'll uh, prepare to get into bed. Hashtag Self Camping Alliance, weed in the bush. We're in the bivy. It's uh, pretty nice and warm in here, actually. I, uh, yeah, I spilt that Nalgene bottle full of water making that supper. So I did melt snow to get another one full. So it's nice and warm, but that's what caused me to run out of propane. So now we don't got coffee in the morning. Yeah. But at least it's, I got a nice warm Nalgene bottle to sleep with, right? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll hot box the uh, bivy here and head off to bed. It's just about 11 o'clock. Well, this was a fun one, guys. I really enjoyed this one. Hiding behind the fence. And all the cars drive by. Yeah, this one was fun. And no, I didn't forget about the rest of the MRE. Next adventure. We're going to try the hot chocolate and the white sponge cake. <laughs> yep, I'm going to make you wait. I got to wait too, so... I mean, don't worry. I'm not going to sneak a bite. So yeah, we'll see you in the morning. It'll be dark. It'll probably look exactly like this. You'll just have to believe me. It's the morning. Probably because my eyes will be open. It will be all squinty. It's smoky in here, so that my eyes are hurting. <laughs> see you in the morning. It's about 4 a.m. I'm going back to bed. Good night. Hey guys. 
It's about 5.30 in the morning. Trains! Uh, I think I'm going to start packing up. Figure something out for coffee. And uh, yeah, I go from there. So, good morning, everybody. The trains. Bags packed up. That's where the bivy was. Leave no trace. Except for obviously there's less snow and a whole bunch of footprints. But I can't do anything about that. That's it for this adventure. No, wait, we're not done. We gotta get coffee and a joint into us. So we'll see you back at home. Uh, 10 minute walk, I'll be at home. And uh, we'll get a coffee and a joint into us. I need a coffee. The temperature's fantastic. It's maybe, maybe only minus two right now. Uh, with some potential snow here in the next couple hours. But I'm not hanging out for that, so. Load the bag on the back and we'll walk on out of here. driver well, that's where we were weed in the bush hashtag stealth camping alliance ooh pretty trees back <sighs> coffee's good I'm sure I could have used that out in the field this morning but let's get a joint on the go that was a fun adventure it was definitely a high risk situation obviously there was not too many people but there was constantly cars and just I had a very tiny little area to hide but I had fun Sleep was fantastic, wasn't cold at all. Slept really good, actually. That insulated sleeping pad works good. I'm gonna get a ground sheet for the the bivy, so all that moisture and stuff stops kinda wicking through, right? Again, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget about the Munch Fund, PayPal, and buy me a coffee, buy me a joint. If you wanna buy weed in the bush, a joint or screws for the ice hut the ice hut he I really I got to get on it so you're probably gonna notice the stealth camping trips start to decline a little bit until I get some progress done on that thing uh, I mean all I got is the fireplace and that doesn't really help us too much thank you for hanging out with me smoke weed every day Go smoke weed in the bush. Go smoke weed beside railroad tracks. Go smoke weed behind a fence. Just, just go smoke weed. And obviously, if you don't smoke weed, that, that's cool. Crack step two. Do as you please, right? I just like weed. That's why I'm telling you to smoke weed.